Hello viewers, you welcome. Today in this video we shall learn about a beautiful one act play written by Susan Hill. The name of the play is on the face of it and the objective or the theme of the play is that we shouldn't stoop to physical impairments. In fact, this play has a beautiful knitted story, well knitted story that revolves around mainly two characters. Derry who is a 14 years old boy and Mr. Lamb. Let me introduce at first to Derry. Derry is the boy who is 14 years old. One side of the face of Derry is burnt by the acid and the burnt face of the acid has filled Derry with the sense of a self-rejection, with the sense of a inferiority. He is not happy to mix up with the people. He wants always the place of a seclusion. He is claiming that the people afraid of me because of the bad look of my face. On the other hand side, let us introduce Mr. Lamb. Mr. Lamb is an old man. He is, a, he is an old person who is living in a garden and he has a big house to live in in the garden. He is living lonely in the garden. That's why he is always in want of the friends or the people who may spend with him quality time. Mr. Lamb is very mature person. He motivates the other people to do good. People call him or children call him Lammy Lamb because in a world when he was a young man, his one leg burst into the explosion of a bomb and he has a tin leg. Now he is living in the house which is a big house. No one other is also living with him. That's why he keeps the gates of his garden always open and even there is no curtain on the windows in the house. Now let us discuss with a dairy. Dairy is the victim of inferiority and self-rejection. Because of that he is not able to mix up with the children of his age. One day when Mr. Lamb was sitting in his garden alone, Derry enters in the garden, but Derry did not enter in the garden through the opened gate. Derry climbed over the wall of the garden and jumped into the garden. As Derry moves forward in the garden, Mr. Lamb called him that take care. Take care, be cautious, there are crab apples in the grass and you may trip over the apples and may fall. It means to say with the opening sentence of the play we see that Mr. Lamb is very much a caring. Moreover, Derry tried to hid himself from Mr. Lamb and told him that I am not intended to steal anything from here. Mr. Lamb also said, I did not blame you that you have come here to steal, but why are you hiding behind the buses? At that point, Derry told Mr. Lamb that I want to mix up with the people, but there is a problem. People afraid of me. Not only people afraid of me, even when I see my face in the mirror, I myself afraid of a me also. At that time, Mr. Lamb asked him, what is the reason? Why do you afraid yourself? Why do people afraid of you? Then Derry revealed him that the acid has burnt my half of the face. And my half burnt face has consumed my complete life. It has eaten my personality. It has eaten me completely. I am not able to mix up with the people and I am not able to enjoy the life to the fullest. Then the 14 years old boy further complains against his mother. He said to Mr. Lamb that 
द पीपल दे शो अफेक्शन यू विल ऑल्सो शो अफेक्शन टू मी बट यू डोंट लव मी यू आर नॉट माई फ्रेंड एंड माई मदर माई मदर किस इज मी बट सी किस इज मी ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ माई फेस विच इज नॉट बर्न इट मीन्स टू से सी इज शोइंग द अफेक्शन बट सी डज नॉट लव मी she has to kiss me because she has to do so there is no bonding no love no affection between me and my mother moreover further dairy told mr lam that one day i was at a bus stop and at the bus stop one woman was there who was discussing who was whispering to an another lady another woman and was saying what an ugly face the boy had who can love to such a face only the mother can love such a face then the people don't love me what can i do why should i live why should i mix up with the people and moreover he said that you are also not my friend who are you i don't know you the passer by a person or the stranger who pass by through the streets they are not friends and these are the blames of dairy which made him full of a self rejection he is victim of an isolation he don't want to he doesn't want to mix up with the people on the contrary on the contrary whatever complaints were of dairy mr lam made him understand that life is not life is not the thing that you have made it it is something different he told him that people children call me lamy lam i have tin leg i don't feel if they call me lamy lam what is bad i don't take it other way at that point dairy said to mr lam that you have tin leg you can hide it under your trousers but what can i do with my face mr lam said it does not matter at all what what will happen if someone is staring at you or not a looking at you it doesn't matter he said in this life the people they have different approaches towards everything in my garden you see what is there behind the wall dairy said that there is completely rubbish there are branches of trees which are withered then there are kathi bhai par mr lam asked dairy what is lying towards that wall and dairy told him that there is rubbish or the weeds now mr lam told him that according to you that may be rubbish that may be the plant of weeds but for me these are the plants of flowers what is the different between the flower plant and weeds both the plants are green both the plants need water to grow both the plants are green whether it is weeds or flower plant both the plants are green so according to me these are flower plants and according to you these are weeds so everyone has the different opinion towards the situation say so don't live your life on the terms of the others but try to live your life up to the fullest moreover mr lam told him that in my garden there is the hive where lot of bees lot of bees are there for the people the bees hum but when you hear when you listen the humming of the bees you will feel that the bees are singing this is the difference of a feeling difference of a understanding difference of how you take the life mr lam told him a story of a person who hid himself in a room and closed and locked himself because he felt that when i shall go on the road the bus will come and crush me or it may be possible a donkey will come and kick me to the death it may be possible the girl to whom i love she may betray me 
इट मे बी पॉसिबल आई मे फॉल ऑफ द बनाना स्किन एंड मे डाई दैट मैन लॉकड हिम सेल्फ अनफॉर्चुनेटली अ पेंटिंग फेल फ्रॉम द वॉल एंड दैट मैन वॉज ए किल्ड वॉट एपन विद हिम लाइफ इज फॉर लिविंग टू द फुलेस्ट नॉट टू एनक्लोज इट सेल्फ नॉट टू एनक्लोज इट इन द केजेज ऑफ द लिमिटेड थॉट सो यू शुड लिव योर लाइफ अकॉर्डिंग टू योर ऑन टर्म्स ऑल दीज आइडियाज स्टोरीज एंड वर्ड्स ऑफ ए मिस्टर लैम प्रोवॉक्ड प्रोवॉक्ड डेरी टू लिव एंड टू बूस्ट ऑफ इज ए कॉन्फिडेंस now motivated by the thoughts of mr lam dairy asked him that i want to go home and i shall return back to you soon my house is near about 3 to 4 miles away i shall tell my mother that i am here with you then mr lam said you don't want to change yourself now you want to go to home you don't want to stay with me because you just listen to me and you have not intended to change your life but dairy said no i shall come back definitely i shall come back mr lam said people promise and they don't keep a promise that person the boy dairy said yes people they break their promises but i shall definitely return back he went back to his home and this is scene number 2 in the play and it is at dairy's home dairy's mother stopped him to go back to mr lam she made him understand that dairy boy you are immature you are a young child and you don't understand that the people will talk sweetly they talk differently and act differently there is no need to go to the garden i know that person who is living there all these things that you have shared with him we also tell to you but dairy did not eh, stop and he went rush back to mr lam now once again it is scene number 3 and it is at a eh, mr lam's eh, garden as soon as young boy dairy enters in the garden he heard a thump sound the cracking sound of the branches unfortunately the ladder of mr lam slipped and he fell down with the thump sound on the ground the boy reached to mr lam but mr lam was a no more he has passed away but before passing away he was a successful person in changing the life of a boy young boy who was the victim of a inferiority self rejection now dairy was weeping very loudly because mr lam had become his mentor mr lam was the person who changed the life of dairy mr lam was the person who opened the eyes of young boy dairy so here your story and so thank you very much for watching this video thanks a lot